Hey, it's Professor Dave. Let's talk about William McKinley. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff, Professor Dave explains. William McKinley was the 25th president and the third to be assassinated. He was a progressive and imperialist who annexed Hawaii and after the swift victory in the Spanish-American War, annexed Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Philippines and was granted oversight of Cuba until its independence. The 1896 presidential election, where McKinley campaigned exclusively from his front porch in Ohio, was a realigning election in which McKinley's view of a stronger central government triumphed, focusing on building American industry through protective tariffs and a dollar based on gold. Before he became president, McKinley was elected to Congress, where he became the Republican Party's expert on the protective tariff, which he promised would bring prosperity. His 1890 McKinley Tariff was highly controversial and led to his defeat in the Democratic landslide of 1890. He was elected governor of Ohio in 1891 and 1893, and with the aid of advisor Mark Hanna, he secured the Republican nomination for president in 1896. With his victory against Democrat William Jennings Bryan, McKinley's election established Republican dominance until 1932. Rapid economic growth marked McKinley's presidency. He promoted the 1897 tariff to protect manufacturers and factory workers from foreign competition, and in 1900 he secured the passage of the Gold Standard Act. McKinley hoped to persuade Spain to grant independence to rebellious Cuba without conflict, but negotiations failed, and when the U.S. battleship Maine exploded suddenly in Havana Harbor, McKinley blamed Spain and seized the excuse to declare war, even though it became relatively clear much later that the Maine was not attacked. The Spanish-American War of 1898 was a swift and decisive victory for the United States. As part of the peace settlement, Spain turned over to the United States the colonies of Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Philippines. Cuba was promised independence, but remained under the control of the U.S. Army. The same year, the United States annexed the independent Republic of Hawaii, and it became a U.S. territory. The election of 1900 once again pit McKinley against Bryan, but the popularity of the war ensured McKinley's re-election, which he easily won. However, on September 6, 1901, he was shot by Leon Cholgosh, an anarchist. It was only six months into his second term. McKinley died eight days later and was succeeded by Vice President Theodore Roosevelt. As an advocate of American interventionism and imperialism, McKinley's territorial gains and pro-business sentiments would have lasting impact, though his staid character would soon be eclipsed by the more flamboyant Roosevelt. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.